All right, let me move on to the elite business. Let's just do that real quick before uh, yeah, get out of here. Uh, Cole, Eddie Kingston was defending the new Japan Strong Openweight title in Japan. Oh, good for him, good for him. He lost it because he got distracted by Jack Perry and the no, elite. Well, actually, no, he lost the title before the elite came in. And I guess the elite came oh. in afterwards to beat him oh. up. And... I don't know what the hell is going on in this scene, but anyways, they were all in Japan. Unless that was in stay America. In Japan? I don't know. I don't know where the hell this was. Okay. But they're waiting Can they stay in Japan? Japan? No, they, they yes. didn't stay in Japan. They're actually mm -hmm. here on the show uh, today. Here yeah. they are. That's, that's <laughs> unfortunate. The, the elite, these three guys with Jack Perry on the left. So, uh, what did Okada talk, I think? Oh. Okada's defending the Continental title against Dax in the main event. So here's what he has to say to Dax. And Dax, tonight I will destroy you. Mwah, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, no, I'll say this. You know, I, I, I that was funny, but. In all honesty, there's probably nothing disappointing to me than watching guys like Okada uh, because there's been so much talk before I started watching AW about like how great Okada is and and Kenny Omega and guys like that talk about how amazing they are and things like that. I'm just not. I mean, Okada obviously you you give a, some sort of a pass because he obviously English is not his native language. He's Japanese. He's He's more known for his wrestling in Japan. He's just been brought into the United States because of AW and things like that. And they're paying him a lot of money, but really there's, there's, they're doing nothing. I mean, the stuff that they're doing with them does not make anyone interested in, and show that Okada is one of the best wrestlers um, alive today. Like, which is what a lot of people have been saying for years, right? That Okada is one of the greatest in today's era. But dude, if anybody, if you watch this, just forget his Japanese stuff. I'm sure, which I'm sure somebody could point out to me is great and whatnot. Just watch his stuff in AW. It's it's. Would you? Would anybody say that this guy is even in the top one thousand wrestlers? <laughs> he looks like he sounds and looks demented. His work is not great in, in any of these matches. I, I think I his work I'm, is pretty pretty okay. It's pretty good, I'd say. I, I I don't agree with that. He hasn't had really a match to showcase it yet, like a, a singles. He had a singles match with Kingston, but nothing other than that yet. But I think, uh, I think other than that, in, in the mixed tags he's had, you know, whatever six man tags they've had, I think he's been okay. He hasn't been bad. But yeah, not showcasing him well here. I agree with you. He's in this silly group with the EVPs that is not really, no one has really taken them seriously. This so. is for years. We've only heard that Okada is one of like yeah, the best. Yeah, I, I know. And I know. then well, any shit. This is this is another issue, like you were saying about the swerve thing. It's not his fault either. It's the writing and the booking. I agree. But yes, I, that I agree with as well. I mean, but at some point you should be like, hey, this is stupid, and I don't want to do it. I mean, I'm one of the greatest wrestlers. If he actually is one of the greatest, but you know what? They're paying him so much money. Why even bother? Yeah, <laughs> you don't you don't want to be like a, a look, seem like a guy who's not a team player. You know, that you're coming in being a troublemaker, rejecting all the storylines. You got to go along with whatever they. They put out for you, man. They gave him one line to say, and he said it. Yes. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Let me hear that again. I want to hear that again. <laughs> wait, wait. Wait, hold on. I will destroy you. Bitch. <laughs> Look, the way he said bitch, too. Like, the way he moved his mouth. He's really good, oh, man. Bitch. I, okay, I disagree well, with we, you. <laughs> we could we'll debate that if he's really good. I mean, all right. He's he's definitely stands out compared to the elite, to the other members of the elite, to me. But anyways, uh, the elite had a match, uh, Nick and Matt against. Try these. Oh wait, this this was so important. Like, did you see this fucking sneakers no. commercial with Reebok? That the Young Bucks are, are in and Okada. The Young Bucks have a pair of their new Reebok pumps. And it 
looks like it's going to be a super kick party. Super kick the day with Reebok pumps. <laughs> <laughs> you want some of these Reebok pumps? I'm gonna, I know what to get you for your birthday now, man. These Young Bucks Reeboks. Yeah, Damn. I mean, um, you can get me some of those, and um, then you could lose my number, but that's fine. Okada's <laughs> <was, Okada> <laughs> like, try these. Try these. <laughs> <laughs> the Young Bucks have a pair. Of new oh, my pumps. God. All right, all right. Sorry. But they did have a match against Christopher Daniels and Matt Seidel, and they beat him. I skipped all of it. but And then they fired Christopher Daniels, right? Is that what happened? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Eh, obviously a storyline, but well, obviously. still. That goes without I mean, saying. I'm a Daniels fan continue. from TNA, but mm. anything with this storyline, I'm just like, I'm really glossing over this flat. I really don't want to see this or even like this at all. But, I agree. I completely agree. And and oh, then Jack yeah. Perry poured soda poured water. or oh, soda what, or water, water or woo woo energy. Oh, Ric Flair's boy. energy drink all you over Tony do, Schiavone. You definitely got to take a shower after the <laughs> for the woo energy because who knows what the hell's in that shit. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going to take it. Tony Schiavone always takes it. He never oh, fucking like fights he back. One day they should let him fucking give someone a DDT or something. Sixty-year-old man, he's gonna fight a wrestler. That would be realistic. Well, Tony Storm. Hold on. Oh wait, hold on one second. No, I'm not. I'm not jumping to Tony Storm yet. I have more elite business. Oh, sticking elite. to elite business. So this was the main event. I'm skipping all the way to the end. Okada had a match for the Continental title against Dax Harwood. I mean, on paper, that's a good booking, but it's so out of nowhere and random. I just really couldn't care about it. See, there's the Continental yeah. title belt. So I'm skipping. I guess I'm skipping 15 minutes here to the end no, of this. Oh, interesting book. Interesting ending, though. Is this technically illegal, Vlad? You see, Dax is getting into the ring, yeah. and Okada's going to kick the middle rope like it's a low blow, sort of. Sort of. The, yeah, I would, say that's, I would say that's kind of illegal because it's kind of like a low blow. Well, the referee's not looking, so they're, they're showing right. that he did he it's missed just, that. You're right. But that that's a low blow, and then a rainmaker, and that's the end One, of the night. One, two, three. That's yeah. the end of the night. <laughs> Demented Okada. I like Okada again. Not really a match I was interested to watch. Post match beatdown on Dax, and this is going along with their anarchy in the arena feud that they're gonna have. Yeah, and Danielson becomes, is in it, and Kingston, catch. and who's no, the Kingston's surprise? Out of it, well, Kingston's, Kingston's out of it because he's injured. And the surprise appearance came from Darby Allen. So he's back yeah, yeah. from his broken leg and getting hit by a bus. This guy's amazing, dude. He's a freaking <laughs> cyborg. I don't understand him. He's not human. Yeah, I agree. I agree. He's oh, not human. God. All right, well, that's the elite yeah. business, okay? So, again, oh, okay. I'm not too interested in this random anarchy in the arena match. I don't really care but about that it. But that brawl was the end of the show. The, actual, yeah, this, so. this was the end of the show.